Hello, welcome to how to visualize text data using word clouds. Word clouds are a fantastic way to visualize the frequency of words in a text, making it easier to identify the most prominent terms in a data set, whether it's for academic research, business analytics, marketing campaigns and social media analysis, customer feedback, or just for fun. So, why word clouds? The motivation behind using word clouds is simple. They provide a quick and intuitive way to summarize large bodies of text. By varying the size of words based on their frequency, word clouds can help us to quickly identify key themes and insights that otherwise might be buried in the data. Word clouds are used for visualization, making it easier to grasp the most important aspects of the text at a glance. So let's dive into how we can create and visualize word clouds in MATLAB. Let's now get into coding with MATLAB and open a new live script. First, we need some text data to work with. This can be any text such as a document or a web page. Let's read the text from Shakespeare sonnets with the file read function and convert it to string. Now let's split sonnets into a string array whose elements contain individual words. To do this, remove the punctuation characters and join all the string elements into a one by one string and then split on the space characters. Then, remove words with fewer than five characters and convert the words to lowercase. After that quick pre processing, let's now plot the word cloud. Let's convert sonnets to a categorical array and then plot using the word cloud function. An interesting thing to note is that if you have the text analytics toolbox installed, then you can create word clouds directly from string arrays. If you do not have the text analytics toolbox, then you must pre-process the text data manually like we just did. Here is how you can do it if you have the text analytics toolbox. Extract the text from sonnets.txt using extract file text and display the text of the first sonnet, and then display the words from the sonnets in a word cloud. In this case, pre-processing the text without the text analytics toolbox was not particularly difficult. However, the text analytics toolbox is useful when you are analyzing a larger body of text or multiple documents as it streamlines and simplifies the code. Now that we know how to create word clouds, let's look at how they are useful for visualizing text data. Let's use the file factoryreports.csv and read the file as a table. The table contains information from factory reports and has five columns, including a text description, category, urgency, resolution, and cost. Now extract the text data from the description column of the table. We can now create a word cloud from the report and give it a title. You can also compare the words in the report from the category column with the labels leak and mechanical failure. Let's create word clouds for each of these labels and change the word colors to be blue and magenta for each word cloud respectively. Let's also go ahead and change the highlight color to green for one of the word clouds. Remember, there are other properties of the word cloud that you can modify, like the font of the text, the number of maximum words displayed, the shape of the word cloud, and so on. Feel free to experiment to create the perfect word cloud for your project. If you want to learn more about how you can create and visualize word clouds in MATLAB and the examples that we used in this video, feel free to go through the links in the description.